my name is Brittany Bryden. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today's class is just going to be a nice, gentle morning flow to get you moving and hopefully energized to get on with your day. So we're going to start off right away in a table. So turn to face the front of the mat, bring your shoulders over top of the wrists, knees hip distance apart, and then start to move through cat cow. So inhale, lift the chest to the gear of the shoulders, send the tailbone up. And then exhale round and push away from the floor. Again, inhale, chest forwards, tailbone up. And then exhale round. One more time, inhale. And then exhale. And then coming into a neutral spine, you're gonna take your right arm up towards the ceiling, open the chest to the right, and then thread the needle. So take your right arm underneath you, you're gonna reach towards the left side and hover your right ear above the floor. You can do that again. Reach that right arm back up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, take it under. And then one more time, inhale to reach. And then exhale, take it under. So this time you're going to ground the arm as well as that right ear. And you're going to come onto your left fingertips. So as you push your fingertips into the floor, use that to help pull your left shoulder back like you're trying to lift the sternum up towards the ceiling. So you're getting that nice twist through the thoracic, but try to keep even weight in your knees. So you're not just shifting your hips over to the right. And then sweep that right arm up towards the ceiling, open the chest to the right. Now keep that right arm up. You're gonna turn your left toes to face the left side of the room and take your right leg straight back. So your hips, or to the right, and you're gonna lift that right leg up. So bring that right heel in line with the hip, tap your foot down, and then lift the right leg back up. Do a couple more, make sure you're not pushing your ribs forwards, draw your ribs in. For three, for two, you're gonna lift up and hold. Now bend that, back, that right knee, bring your right heel in towards the glute, and your right hand's gonna intend to reach back. So maybe you grab hold of your foot or your ankle. You're gonna pull that right shoulder back, and then I want you to push your foot into the hand like your heel's moving away from the glute. Take one big breath there. And then open it up. Set your right hand and right knee to the floor and come back into your table. Now take your left arm up towards the ceiling, open the chest to the left. Then thread the needle, so take that left arm underneath you, hover the arm and reach to the right. And again, reach that left arm up. And then exhale, take it under. One more time, reach it up. And then exhale, take it under, so ground the arm. Come onto your right fingertips. And then try to push the fingertips into the floor as you pull that right shoulder back. Even weight through the knees. Just one more breath here. And then sweep that left arm back up towards the ceiling. So keeping that arm up, you're gonna turn your right toes to face the right side, slide your left leg back. And then from here, you're gonna lift that left leg up so heel comes in line with the hip. Tap your foot down and then lift the leg back up. Keep going. And then let, next time you lift it up, hold there. So you're gonna bend that left knee so you bring your heel into the glute. Now you can stay there or you're gonna intend to reach that left hand back. Maybe you grab hold of the ankle. And then if you do have hold of the foot, roll that shoulder back, lift the chest, and then push your foot in the hand so your heel starts to move away from the glute. And then open it back up and set both hands and both knees to the floor. Come back into that table. And from here, you're gonna tuck your toes under, lift the hips up and back, coming into a downward dog, and just walk the legs out. So bending one knee straight and the other, shifting side to side. Now heels lift up, bend your knees, and you're just gonna walk your feet forwards as you come to the top of the mat. Feet will land about hip distance apart. Bring your fingertips to the shins, you're gonna lift up halfway, lengthen, and then fold forwards into your legs and take a big step back with your right leg. So you can fold your right side of the mat over to give your right knee some padding and set the right knee down to the ground. You're gonna reach both arms up towards the ceiling. 
cactus with the arms, you're gonna bend the elbows, keep lifting the sternum up, and then bring your forearms and your pinky fingers to touch. So you can do that again, open up cactus, and then pull the forearms and pinky fingers to touch. One more time, open up, and then close. Now you're gonna open up and then interlace the hands behind the back. So try to press the palm of the hands together. Roll the shoulders back and then start to move your hands away from the glutes and then feel like you're trying to pull your hands to the ground. And then bring both hands down to the floor, half split. Hips go back, pull the left toes back towards the face. So you can bend that left knee as much as you need here. You can walk your hands closer to you. You can walk them further forwards. And then bend into the front leg, tuck your back toes under, pick up your back knee, easy twist, reach that left arm up towards the ceiling. And then set your left hand down, bend that back knee and step forwards, coming to the top of the mat. Bring your fingertips to the shins, lift up halfway. And then fold into the legs, bend your knees, step back with your left leg, set your left knee down to the floor, low lunge, both arms reach up. Cactus with the arms, so bend the elbows and then pull your forearms and the pinky fingers to touch. Again, open up, and then exhale, pull it in. One more time, inhale, open. Exhale, close, and then open up. Interlace the hands behind the back, pressing the palm of the hands together. Roll the shoulders back, start to move the hands away from the glutes and feel like you're pulling your hands down as you lift the sternum to the ceiling. And hands come to the floor, half split, hips go back, and draw the right toes back towards the face. Taking a few breaths here. And walk the hands forwards, bend in the front leg, pick up your back knee, easy twist, take that right arm up towards the ceiling. Set the right hand down, bend your back knee, and step forwards, come to the top of the mat. So feet hip distance apart, bring your fingertips to the shins, lift up halfway, and then fold into the legs. Bend your knees, lower the hips down, root down through the heels, and bring your hands together in prayer. So coming into chair, you're going to lift the hips up an inch, and then lower the hips down. Lift up, and then lower. So little tiny pulses here. And then I want you to envision like you have an exercise ball or something in between your thighs that you're hugging into. Really light through the toes, root through the heels, couple more, four, three, two, and then one, come up to stand. So you're going to turn to face the left side of the mat, so you're facing the long edge, feet nice and wide, hands on your hips, you're going to lengthen, reach the crown of the head up, and then hinging from the hips, so bend the knees and then fold forwards into the legs for a wide-legged forward fold. You're going to come onto your fingertips, lengthen the spine, bring your heels in the center, turn your feet out, bend your knees, lower the hips down. You're going to take your hands or your elbows to the inside of the thighs. So actively press your knees open as you rock side to side. And then keep the hips low, just take your arms out to the side, keep pressing the knees open. You're going to come to stand, reach both arms up, straighten the legs, and then lower back down. So bend the knees. Take the arms out to the side. Again, straighten the legs, reach the arms up, and then lower down. One more time, reach up, and then lower. So keep the hips low, but just lift the hips up an inch, and then come to middle, and then down an inch, and then up. So up an inch, middle, down an inch, middle, up an inch, middle, down an inch, middle, pause there, keep pressing these open, and then come up to stand. Bring your feet parallel again, hands on the hips, lengthen. And we're gonna come into that wide-legged forward fold again, but this time, take your hands and reach for the ankles or maybe the outsides of the feet, and then fold into the legs. So bring your hands back to the ground. Feet are going to stay as they are, but you're going to bend into your left leg. So I want you to actively press that left knee open. 
but then walk your hands towards your right foot. Maybe you grab a hold of the foot and the ankle. Just keep that nice deep bend in the left leg. And then we're gonna change sides. So now bend into the right leg. So press that right knee open and then walk your hands towards the left foot. And now you're gonna walk your hands through center, pivot to face the front of your mat and step back into downward dog. You're gonna lower down onto your knees, swing your legs to either side and come down onto your backs. Bring both knees in towards your chest, rock side to side. And then feet come on the mat about hip distance apart, hands on the floor, framing your hips. So root the feet down, pick up the hips, curl under with the pelvis, posterior tilted pelvis, ribs drawn in, and then lift the hips up towards the ceiling. So from there, you can walk your shoulder blades underneath you. Maybe you can interlace the hands, palm of the hands pressed together and ground the arms to the floor. And then release the fingers and slowly roll down the back. Take your arms in into a T-shape or cactus with the arms and let your knees just rock side to side. And then as your knees come to center, hug your knees in towards your chest. So lift your chest towards your thighs, give yourself a big squeeze and then let it go. So take the legs long, bring the arms down to the floor. Get nice and heavy into the ground. And I highly encourage you to take just a couple minutes in stillness before you leave your mat and you go into the rest of your day. Just find some clarity. I wanna thank you so much for practicing with me and I hope to see you again real soon. Always. Be humble and be kind. Thank you. Namaste.